vor. Arlo is testing out his new high chair and we are having, look at him trying to sit up, um, we are having some, we're having some puree um, which he's loving recently. He is five and nearly five and a half months old. If you've been here long enough, my daughter Amara, I started weaning her at five months and just because our doctor recommended it, she was an eager eater, she was an early eater and yeah so i'm just giving him some purees here and here and there not forcing him on a schedule or anything but as you can see he is just so eager to grab this and put it all in his mouth but i've just been <laughs> i've just been putting it onto a spoon and giving it to him um and then once he reaches six months we're going to be doing baby lead weaning which i think he's gonna love because every time we have food he just wants a piece of whatever we're having is that nice i think you're a bit unsure but this is a really nice high chair it's perfect for if you're looking for a high chair that grows with your child because this high chair can transform for newborns for hi for when they're six months for toddlers my daughter it can even convert into a little chair um so it grows with your child don't know if i mentioned but it is gifted from maxi cozy but I love Maxi Cozy. I have Maxi Cozy car seat for both babies. I have the Maxi Cozy pram for Arlo. So we love Maxi Cozy in this house, but I'm just gonna keep giving him a little bit of this. Not too much, he's just had a bottle. We're in the living room. Um, Corey has popped out with the kids for a little bit whilst I try and sort this wall out. So throwback we peeled off the wallpaper literally i think about a few days into living in this house because i just wanted to get rid of the wallpaper so i stripped the wallpaper and it kind of just was like that for a little bit um because we wasn't gonna get started on painting yet but now that i'm ready to paint i'm ready to paint and already as you can see i think i've showed you guys i painted the top of the top quarter of the living room white because I don't know if I've said this before I feel like I'm repeating myself but I'm going to be doing a white green room so all of this wall this wall and the wall where the tv is is going to be green and the above is going to be white because I just thought there needs to be some brightness in this room and automatically as soon as I painted it white it just makes the room so much brighter and a part of me is nervous um, adding this green into the room because the room, I wish all this stuff wasn't in here because I could have showed you, but the room is so bright. And right now it's such a gorgeous afternoon. Like the sun is shining, birds are tweeting, um, but I'm just a bit nervous. It's gonna make the room dark. Hence why I've added the white. Hopefully it's not too dark. Um, if you wanna see the color, what we are using is Lick in collaboration with Soho House. So you can see that is the color that we are going to be using. This is green 05, it's called Rome House. The most gorgeous green, like I love this shade of green, I'm obsessed with it. Um, by the way, if you are looking to get lip paint, they have these sticky things. I don't know if other paint brands do them, but you can get sticky samples. Peel it off, slap it onto the wall that you wanna paint on so you can see what it looks like and you can just peel it off and take it to whichever room. You're like, oh, I don't like this for the dining room. Maybe it will work for the living room. You can just peel it off and take it with you. So that's one thing I've just been doing, playing around with the paint colors. And this is definitely saying in here, I'm gonna get started priming this wall. And then as soon as I prime this wall, I'm gonna get started painting. I'm very nervous, very nervous, because this room is gonna be like the, the biggest transformation, I guess. The dining room I was nervous about, but I knew it would turn out nice. This I'm nervous about because I don't know how it's gonna look with my grey so far. I'm getting a new armchair. The cabinet is black and we've got black accents. I need to get a new light shade. So I'm just hoping it turns out the way that I expect it to in my head, but if it doesn't, then I only have myself to blame, but I'm guessing it's gonna look nice, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, 
don't be alarmed. It's only because my brush is still a bit wet. I've literally just washed the roller. Um, so that's why it looks like that. This is gonna dry, very interesting. <laughs> Nervous laughter. Oh my gosh, good morning. Um, it is Saturday. I literally like woke up about an hour ago. So I don't even want you guys to look at me for too long, but I'm in the garden, I'm on the patio. As you can hear, birds are singing. It's nail day today, so I'm getting my nails done because they are overdue and they're at the point where my hair starts to snag in them, which is just not cute. So um, I'm going to the nail shop in about an hour and a bit. But yeah, I want to show you the updates inside. So I started painting the living room yesterday and I was just like, First of all, the application was so weird because my brush wasn't completely dry. So it looked like different shades of green. So it's no fault with the paint. I just want to make note if you did see that. It's, it's literally just because my brush was not fully dry and I just wanted to get it done because I'm trying to get this house finished fast, fast, fast because the next couple of weeks are and with the kids and stuff is just impossible to do things so i'm trying to get it done when i can get it done um and whilst Corey is available to help me get it done so that's why i'm like rushing to get it finished um but anyway yeah i wanted to show you inside when i applied it and then once my brush started getting used to the paint and it dried down i was like oh my goodness did i make a mistake like I don't know if I like this. Like I was panicking, I was like, oh my goodness, because it was like in my head, I expected it to look a certain way and it wasn't, but that's only because it wasn't finished drying. So it looked like on the swatch, it was a nice dark green and it was drying and it was still like the shade of green in my garden right now. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have faith. So I did, it's dried overnight. It's not completely done, it's very nearly finished but it's looking really really nice i'm excited to style it i'm excited to be in a moody cozy room and it just reflects outside so nicely which when this room which will be in the next vlog most likely when this living room is all styled um and i'm starting to style it and make it look nice you will see why i picked the color the birds are very noisy this morning. So I want to go inside. I want to show you what it looks like currently. Um, I'm about to push all the furniture back because it's mainly the other wall that we need to do, not the one against the sofa. We need to do like the skirt and boards and stuff, but I'm not going to do that until tonight just because the living room is where we all sit, where we all relax, where the kids play. So I just want to get that somewhat organised. So let's go inside and let's go have a look. As we turn this is the living room um it is much lighter on camera than it is in person in person it is a lovely dark shade of green but as you can see this is why i made it green because it just reflects outside so nicely let me put my coffee down this is how it is looking absolutely obsessed i just went over those corners so that's why it's um, looking patchy because I just went over it. But yeah, as you can see, this is the currency of the living room. So yeah, what I'm about to do is I'm gonna move this to over here because this is the only wall that, oh, you can hear Arlo. This is the only wall that we need to do um, and properly paint. I started doing this last night. So I wanna push this back ever so slightly so we still have access to this bit and then I'm going to brightness and then I'm gonna move the sofa back over here. Okay, you guys, it is a new day and the living room is like 99% done. The only exception is like finishing off the skirting board, we have to paint along it. And then there's this little patch that dried funny because Corey went over it with the tape and it was a bit weird. So that's the only exception. But other than that, I wanna show you what it looks like. I, honestly, I was nervous, you guys. I was nervous when I was painting this room. I was so nervous when it was drying down. I just didn't know what it was going to look like. I thought the vision was off. I thought, did I pick the wrong colour? Should I just have stuck with the basic colour? By the way, Amara made me a little um, <laughs> bracelet. That's why I see her jangling. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with our decision. I'm so happy that we went with this choice. Now, once both rooms, once the dining room next door and this room is decorated, the transition from that room to this room 
I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. Excuse the random bits all over the place. I've just started to clean it up because the whole house has just been upside down over the weekend. We had family over, we were out, so I didn't have the chance to do it. Now I'm slowly putting things back together and now I'm just taking pictures of the room so I can plan how I'm gonna decorate it. So let's show you guys the painted living room. You can see the odd bits where we just need to go over, but I'm look at this. It has turned out so much better than I expected. Again, please excuse the randomness. Like, we need to sort out this wiring bit because the TV's here. We are going to mount this TV. I'm gonna sit on the sofa so I can show you. Um, we're gonna mount the TV onto the wall. Look at it, oh my gosh. Um, the color is a touch brighter on camera than it is in person. It's much darker in person. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to be mounting the TV onto this wall and then this sideboard either i don't know if it's gonna stay there i don't know if i'm gonna move it over here because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be getting a new armchair for this room um but yeah let me know what you think so the tv's gonna be mounted onto this wall here and then the sofa is over here we have got a rug there as you can see i've just picked it up to do some hoovering um like i said we just need to do the skirting but my plans for this room let's just go over it shall we the main reason why i painted this room green and I was gonna, can you imagine how it would have been if we continued it up onto the ceiling? But I'm actually really happy that I did paint this white. I will leave a little before video in case you've forgotten what it looked like. Up here was yellow. This back was plastered. I painted over that. This whole room was just not looking how it is now. Um, <laughs> but the whole reason why I painted it green was because look at our garden. Excuse the ladder, but just look at our garden. See some mess. It's a beautiful day today. We just went on a walk. But yeah, that's the whole reason why I painted this room green was to reflect the gorgeous outside. And in the winter months, whilst it's gonna be dark and miserable, it's also gonna be so cozy in here. And I'm so excited for the winters. Um, but yeah, my plans for this room. Like I said, I'm thinking of getting an armchair that I think is gonna go over here. I just want this room to be nice and cozy because this is where we all sit and relax and the kids play and stuff and we can watch Amara go into the garden there so I'm thinking of obviously leaving the sofa here I think I'm going to change this lamp I might move this somewhere else I might sell it I don't know but I want this back wall to be like a gallery wall so either I do three big artwork um features or I do like quite a bit and just fill this whole back wall what i would love to do is to have a not built in but to have two or three bookshelves over here can you imagine what that will look like that is honestly my goal for this house i would love to add like three or four bookshelves that fill this wall um and then have this as an art gallery wall but if you have any ideas please let me know i also really the sofa has been through it i love this sofa we've had this sofa since we lived in london but this sofa is such a mess on a daily basis like as you can see look at the cushions like i can't keep this sofa looking nice because i have two kids i have a quarry and <laughs> it just doesn't stay neat we eat on this sofa the sofa gets crumbs on it like every single day i have to hoover it um but let me know if you think it's worth getting some nice cushions for it even though it gets messy i can just clean it up after every use absolutely obsessed with this room i am already like buying stuff and looking to buy stuff for decorating purposes for this room. But yeah, I'm really, really happy that this room is done. The whole of the downstairs is now finished. You guys are probably like, are you gonna paint the kitchen? I don't know, that's still a question mark. And I kind of like how it is white because the room is so bright and I don't wanna bring in a darker color to make it too dark. I might paint the pantry cupboards, um, but yeah, the kitchen's not really a room that I'm thinking of doing. But we now need to focus on upstairs. Amara's room is done, which if you haven't seen, I'll leave the video down below. We are now in the process of doing Arlo's room and our bedroom is the last one to be done because as you know, we're gonna be painting the wall and we're gonna be building a wardrobe. So that is what we need to do next. so i have my first big girl meeting like i feel officially like an adult 
I haven't got myself ready today. Like I'm literally still in like pajamas. I look okay. I need to stop commenting my appearance because so many of you were like, Jess, you look fine. Um, but yeah, I have a big girl meeting today. I have gotten myself an accountant, which is both like scary and exciting at the same time. So I've got my first meeting with them today, which I'm excited about. I'm nervous about, like I said. I've got lots of questions, which is good. And I'm just setting up, I'm in the dining room. It is a messing here. So I don't even want to show you guys what it's looking like because it's just in a state of disarray. Um, but yeah, everyone else, I just told everyone to leave me and be in quiet and peace. Um, I'm gonna prep myself for a second and write down my questions that I have for the meeting. I made myself a coffee. So I've got my coffee here. I've got my laptop, I'm all set up. I, when it comes to adult things like this, things like this make me feel like an adult. Like you would think I, you know, have, we have bills to pay. We have kids, like we do food shop, things like that. I don't feel like an adult when it comes to those things. The children part though, it's confusing, but we done Amara's application form for school. That made me feel like an adult. Having an accountant, being on a meeting with my accountant, that made me feel like an adult. Like I feel like very adult-like. And turning 23, I'm turning 23 in two months. Ridiculous. Um, I know I'm a baby to most of you, but to me, I'm an adult now because I'm doing like adult things, which is both scary and exciting at the same time but i am happy that i am blossoming into this phase of my life and it's nothing to be nervous about because i remember i had a brief and call with them before and it's nothing to be nervous about but things like finances and expenses and when you're self-employed it's a lot there's a lot of things you need to think about that i still don't know so i think this call will be really good to get to grips with that and ask the questions and understand a bit more how i can help myself when it comes to taxes and big girl things like that but yeah just want to pop on and say good morning the plans for today i mainly need to have this meeting i need to do a food shop but not too much because i have got hello fresh coming and then i need to film some content for a brand partnership and do some house bits around the house, nothing too exciting. So I'll take you along wherever I get on today. I'm gonna go because I've got the call in like five minutes. I'm gonna quickly write down my questions and I'm gonna have the call. Hiya. Hi, uh... Jessie Ara. How are you? I'm all right, thank you, are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, so it is the first day of that time of the month for me and I, have been through hell today my goodness my hormones have been all over the place um first thing you're allowed to laugh okay first thing i cried because <laughs> i cried because you guys know my greenhouse you guys know my greenhouse so my two seedlings that started growing um if you don't know i started to try and grow some lettuce and like little bits i'm a bit late i know but finally, after weeks and weeks of it taking its time to grow, I thought they died. I don't think they were going to sprout. They started to finally start to show some life, show like they were getting somewhere. And this morning, there's been this cat in my garden, these two cats in my garden, since we've moved. They've always been chill. They've always just chilled on the grass. I'm like, cool, I'll leave them because I had cats at home when I was growing up and I'm not bothered by cats. But this orange cat today orange cat energy yeah this orange cat today excuse the lighting as well it's really really bad um this orange cat this morning me and him were getting at it he kept hitting at me i was like get out my garden you want to be cheeky it kept trying to knock over my flowers and stuff um because i've got flowers potted everywhere and it was trying to knock over my flowers and i was like okay go go i was like shoo shoo and i then come in the garden before i need to go and do my food shop and the cat's knocked over my seedlings and completely ripped out one of my other flowers which really made me upset so i literally saw it on the floor i saw my seedlings everywhere the soil was everywhere and i just sighed i went <sighs> and then amara was outside with me and i was like oh amara the silly cat i was like silly cat knocked over the seedlings with my voice was trembling my eyes were watering i was trying not to cry because i didn't want amara to think it was a big deal <laughs> couldn't hold it together i started crying because the cat knocked over my greenhouse 
I, was, I just started crying and Amara was like, it's okay, mommy, like we'll fix it. And I just went inside, I just told Corey, Corey and Amara went to go repot it for me. So they're fine, but like, that's just an example of how all over the place my hormones have been. This morning I woke up so tense, so anxious. So today has been fun. I had my call with my accountant, which was really, um, what's the word? It wasn't intense, but it was really educational. It was really informative and she helped me out a lot. So I'm excited slash nervous to go forward, but I'm excited because they really made the process so simple for me. Now it is, my phone's in the other room. It's like half eight. Um, Arlo's sleeping, Corey's putting Amara to bed. I haven't had my dinner tea if you're from up north, I haven't had my dinner yet. So I'm not feeling like food food. I'm not feeling nothing too filling, but I went to Tesco and I popped up some like lunch bits, breakfast bits, because like I said, we have HelloFresh for the next week and a bit. So I didn't need to pick up anything for dinner. I just picked up this like tiger bread because I really like this type of bread. And then I treated us to some goodies. I got a fancy, ham selection from tesco yeah so i've got myself a little fancy ham selection got some cream cheese so i'm just gonna chop this up um and pop it in the oven with some of the ham selection and some cream cheese and that's my dinner i'm not feeling anything too filling i just i'm not not feeling it um i did get myself some snacks like some cookies some sour things because i don't know why it is on my period i love sour things even during my pregnancy, loved sour things. I'm not usually a sour girl, so that was a bit weird. And I'm going to pop on some Sex in the City because I've been obsessed with that. Ever since I got my Sky TV, um, I've been obsessed with watching it. So I'm binging the series. And then when Corey's all done putting Amara to bed, we're gonna watch a film. Good morning guys, it is Thursday. I got, I'm trying to find my lip balm, but I can't seem to find it, that's fine. Um, it is 9.40 in the morning, everyone's in the garden right now. I wanted to take the opportunity because today, in the afternoon, I'm off to an exciting event with Space and K for Glossier. I'm so excited for this event, I've been waiting for it for ages and I'm really trying to get out of my comfort zone going to events and stuff in Manchester because I'm not really an events kind of girl when it comes to my job. Like I, if you guys know me, I'm a homebody, I stay at home. So this year I'm trying to go to every, well not every event, but you know, I'm trying to go to events and show my face, meet some new people. So I went to the Space and K launch in Arndale in Manchester. I have just got sent some amazing goodies that I picked. I was gonna buy these anyway, I just wanna make no, I was gonna buy these anyway. She sent over some amazing little gifts for me to try. I'm so excited to show you guys. I'll leave everything down below. This is not an ad, but these products are gifted PR. Just wanna let you know. So I was like, whilst I have the time, the kids are downstairs, let me show you what I got. First thing I got was this set of three what would you call these like beauty bags travel cases this would have come in handy when i went to my um youtube retreat but it is just these clear green travel cases so it comes in like a large it comes in a medium and then it comes in a little small one which i love i'm actually going to use these today because when i go to the glossier event it's in the city center and i've been on the side of tiktok where I'm starting to realize there's quite a lot I've been doing, not wrong, but there's things I've just not been doing that I should have been doing from ages ago. I'm on grown women TikTok, grown woman TikTok, where I will leave her account on the screen. She basically says and shares things that she wished she knew in her 20s, in her teen years, that's helped her through adulthood and womanhood. I have been binge watching her videos and I have so many videos saved 
of just a bunch of things that she's done. I'm gonna come in hot. Sometimes you're just gonna have to let that thing soak. Sometimes you're just gonna have to take a vinegar bath where you sit in like waist high water to warm water, maybe one to two cups of vinegar. Open up your booty cheeks. <laughs> I knew about the vinegar because I'm Caribbean, but yeah, so it's things like that. There, she was just sharing things that she wished she knew um that women should know basically and one of those things is set things you should have or every woman should carry in their purse whenever they're out and about and i used to have things but i would always miss one thing out whether that be hand cream lip gloss a pad a tampon things like that so i'm not missing out this time so that's what i'm going to be using these for and i'm going to be stocking up on some skincare and beauty bits that I want to try as well in the larger ones. I was speaking with someone in the Space NK team about body care and our body care routines and body products that I've been wanting to try, but I'm nervous to try because I'm very, when, when I try something, I'm very much I'll buy it again a hundred times over. Like I don't like to try new body care products because I don't know why, I think it's since having my son that my skin's just gone all weird when trying products, but I've never had sensitive skin before um but with saying that she recommended to me the notorium body products and i've been hearing amazing things about this on tiktok from word of mouth so i was like okay i'm gonna try it so this is the notorium glow getter multi oil body wash essentially this is a body wash that goes from wash to oil form which i love and i have really dry arms i don't know why it runs in the family i must have given it to my kids because amara has dry arms and arlo has dry arms so i have dry arms up here so after not even after my bath when i take a shower when i take a bath straight after my bath straight after my shower before i dry myself put oil on my arms don't rinse it off just to lock in that moisture so this sounded perfect i'm gonna try this when i take my shower um shortly and i'll let you know how i get on with it if you know estate on youtube she's an og she has a brand called mirror water and i've been hearing amazing things and she's been going on about her um body oil which it's meant to be amazing and i was like i really want to try that i really really want to try that i love my body oils like like i said before bef when i come out the shower body oil goes straight on me so i wanted to try her one first of all i love the packaging you know i'm a sucker for packaging i opened this yesterday when i opened my my pr box and me and corey smelt it and i was i was actually pleasantly surprised i I didn't, okay, I don't want this to sound bad. I didn't expect it to be life-changing. I didn't expect it to be, oh my God, this is the best body oil I've ever tried. But then again, I didn't expect it to be just like any regular baby oil, you know? So I opened it yesterday, I'll show you. And it smells like a spa. Like it smells like a spa. It smells like you've had a massage and then like the candles. Yeah, so it says to apply this on damp skin. So I'm going to be trying this directly after trying this. So I'll let you know how I get on with those two products. But like I said, I'm a sucker for bath stuff. I love smelling good after the bath and I'm learning how to layer my products. So I'll let you know how you get on with that. If you've tried this before, let me know how you get on with it because I've heard mixed reviews, but most of the reviews have been positive. And it just depends what you're wanting out of this product. So this is the, what flew? Something flew. This is the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Bronzing Drops. I've heard amazing things, okay? I've heard amazing things. And she's so little, she's so cute. But I'm gonna try this today. I'm not exactly sure how you apply this, okay? So you add this into your cream, you add this into your oils, or your facial moisturizer. I haven't gotten a new eyeshadow palette in years, years. I like since college, I've only ever used my Morphe palette that I've had since, not even college, I think since like year 11, which is really bad. So I picked myself up a new palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It's got a little plastic thing that's gonna fall out actually, so let me take that out. Because I've just been looking for some simple everyday colors because I've started to wear eyeshadow again. I've not worn eyeshadow in years lies i've not worn eyeshadow properly in like months since having the kids so i just thought this palette would be perfect for every day perfect for like a simple glam it's got the gold it's got the bronzes it's got the browns a bit of me so i'm excited to try that and then i'm pretty sure i already have this in this shade but this is the summer fridays lip butter balm you hydrating it smells delicious yeah this is one of my staples in my makeup bag that i just bring with me everywhere i have like three products that i rotate 
lip products this one because it's not so glossy it's more like a lip balm and then i've got the refi lip gloss in the color sepia and then i have my laneige lip mask laneige 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 the lip button lip mask you know the one in the top you know what i'm talking about i've got that one as well so i rotate between those three and i bring all of them with me all the time the last thing i got is the charlotte tilbury face powder because same as before i haven't got myself a face powder as in like a setting powder for the entire face in about two years i kid you not i've had the same one and this is the perfect size to just pop in my purse as well so i want to take this with me when i go to the event so luckily i'm done now what's that makeup what's that eyeshadow Okay. Ooh, red, pink. Mm, pink? Yeah. And black too. Yeah. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's me done. That's my little haul. I hope you liked it. I'll leave everything down below. I am going to be taking my shower soon, so I'll let you know how I get on with these two products. Whilst I am here, who wants to see Arlo's room? Should I show everyone Arlo's room? So Corey finished painting his room. I love the color like I feel like the, the house these the color palette for this house is coming together perfectly the way I expected it to I'm going to show you Amara's putting my makeup in the case thank you so much you're welcome all right let's go and show you Arlo's room okay so his room is quite literally jam-packed but <gasps> oh my goodness it is done it is done it is done it is done look at this color it's so echoey in here what do we think i'm obsessed with this color i was nervous to do such a i don't want to say dark color it's not really dark but i was nervous to do like this kind of color in a nursery especially because I, I just had to think about the future. He's gonna grow in this room. We're gonna be in this house hopefully for a while. So I wanted the room to not be like a baby's room, but I wanted it to be reflective of him as a kid. Does that make sense? It sounds weird. Anyway, yeah, so as you can see, it's all painted and paneled all the way around. Corey done a really good job. So good job, Corey. Um, <laughs> he done a really good job paneling and painting everything nice and neat. Now all we have to do is the wallpaper, which the wallpaper is gonna be on the white bit of the wall all the way up here. And then I also have these shelves that we picked up from Ikea um, a few weeks ago that I'm going to paint the same color as his wall because I think it will look nice and seamless. So the plan now is I'm actually going to get some house bits done because the house is kind of upside down. So I want to finish some house chores, some housework, and then I need to go in the garden and see if it needs watering. Um, because finally the sun has come back out and I need to film some bits. And then later I will bring you along with me to the event. I'm excited, nervous as per usual. However, I, I always feel this way about whenever I go to an event. Um, but I'm excited so I'll take you guys along later on. I need to make sure my batteries are charged up actually because they never are when I want to leave the house. Hi. <laughs> All righty. See you later. See you later. Before I take this dress off, I wanted to show you what it looks like on. I got this from Amazon. You would not believe this dress is from Amazon. It actually was recommended via Lydia Mellon. I saw it on her Instagram account and I thought, that's where that dress is from. I wouldn't have expected Amazon. So I'm wearing it. I'm still a bit like, I don't know if I love it. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's growing on me and I feel so comfortable in this. It is the most gorgeous, flattering style of dress. The lighting makes it look a bit better and you can see it. I've got like the wide angle on so you can see everything. Um, it is ankle length, most gorgeous, flattering style and you can like pop up like this if you don't want your shoulders to be out. I'll link it down below if you're interested. It comes in so many different colors. I just thought the green would be different because you know, I stick to black or white. Um, so I thought this colour would be nice and I really like it.
washed it's a crazy house right now hey guys so i've just taken a shower that was brilliant the products they done what they needed to do okay so first of all the notorium body wash that i was telling you about how it converts into an oil brilliant love that i went over with my not my loofah what do you call it my net you know um i went over my body with my net like, look how i'm glistening and gliding i went over with my net rinsed off and then i went over with my hands and like I actually got in it's really good and it smells lovely and then when i finished my shower i used the rest of my products i then went in with the mirror water oil i didn't use that much i'm using it sparingly um but i went over that on my arms mostly you can see i'm glistening so let's pop that back please excuse the bathroom i'm actually going to paint the bathroom don't know what color i'm painting it. i think i'm just going to do a white i may just use a leftover color that i have look at my hair my hair is such a state anyway i'm getting ready now for the event because it is two it is 240 i just wanted to come on and show you guys the drunk elephant product because i'm about to put that on my skin and i want a live reaction of what i think an honest review because when products are talked about by everyone i feel like it's not worth me trying because it's like everyone has it and i don't want skincare or makeup that everyone has because i feel like makeup and skincare is supposed to be sub subjective to the individual i've been going back to my favorites the toucher this is the sister of the dewy skin cream this is the water cream so i was like what is the hype about this until i tried it you apply it to your skin oh goodness Arlo doesn't want to nap, so he's going to make a ton of noise in this video. You apply it to the skin, and then when you rub it in, it feels like water. It feels like there's water on your skin. So the drunk elephant says to mix this in with your moisturizer, but because of the because of the formula of this, I don't think it will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it and apply it straight onto my skin because I've seen other people do that. So I'm. interesting can you see that this side i look so dull <laughs> and i interesting i didn't expect that. i don't know what i was expecting but i wasn't expecting that but you can see like the difference anyway let's apply that i need to hurry up because i need to charge my phone because i hate leaving the house with no battery that's really interesting count how many times i've said interesting okay so now fun okay i need some concealer i'm in dire need for some concealer because my, my eye bags are really eye bagging motherhood <laughs> i'm gonna go in with my nyx can't stop won't stop this is just my concealer corrector to cancel out that darkness okay right i think the rest of this <laughs> is gonna be done with some music on top because i knew i need to hurry up actually just come on to end this vlog and have a bit of a honest honest conversation with you guys i don't know how long this vlog is but i hope it's a substantial length where you are satisfied and happy with the content on this vlog i'm literally just sat down ready to edit this vlog and do some uh, like a live admin basically but i wanted to sit down and have an honest conversation with you guys of something that has been on my mind for a while and I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna go about this because sometimes I forget when I make videos and when I press upload to YouTube I forget the video stays online forever until how long it's gonna be on for but I forget that when I press upload I'm not just pressing upload for a few people to see or for just my friends to see or just my family to see like anyone who types in my name and goes to my channel can watch my content and i forget that sometimes so when i say certain things or do certain things or include certain things i completely am oblivious well not oblivious but like it just doesn't 
it, I don't think about that anymore. It used to be something that I thought about all the time and something that I was so aware about. I was so aware that anyone from my school could just type up my name and see what I'm up to. Or like family in the Caribbean can just type my name and see what I'm up to. Or like people who I no longer speak to can just do that. Employees, employees, employers, ex-employers, like anyone can. So I say all that just to say like going forward, I'm, I don't know how I'm, I don't know how to navigate this topic. I was speaking to a friend about this today and she was just like, you just need to start allowing yourself to feel the way that you're feeling because when it comes to my emotions, I don't talk about it too much. I just like to get on with things. Do you get what I mean? Like I just, if I feel a certain way, if I'm upset, angry, whatever, if something in my personal life is going on, I'm just very much like, okay, I'll deal with that another day. Going forward on my channel and me just on the internet, I'm honestly not sure how I'm gonna navigate it. I'm honestly not sure how I want to show up. A part of me, a part of me a few weeks ago was gonna quit. A part of me was just gonna fall off the face of the earth and never post again until like I felt like it again. Now that I've actually thought about it, now that I've talked to people about it and I'm slowly navigating how I want to do this going forward, I would love to hear what you guys think about me focusing my channel on home and lifestyle even though that is my content already but i'm interested to hear you as a subscriber if you're new if you've been here with me for years how would you feel about me making my youtube channel significantly home focused and lifestyle focused i would love to hear your thoughts i'd love to hear what you think about that and if it's something you'd be interested in if it's something you'd watch and then the same across my platforms i'm just trying to navigate like social media at the moment because i'm not sure it's not a place that i enjoy at the moment if i'm being so honest with you it's not a place that i enjoy posting on it's not a place that i feel like i'm valued anymore like my content i'm kind of just making the content a couple people see it and it just it doesn't do as well as i as i used to do and I don't know it's it's a weird it's a I don't want to get into too much because I feel like I'm just gonna keep talking but I'm just navigating how I want to show up on the internet now and like I said before I was gonna quit I honestly was gonna quit well not quit but like just like disappear for a little bit <laughs> yeah so bear with me in terms of that and I'm just navigating like I said how I want to do things going forward so yeah like I said I'd love to hear what you guys think but thank you so much for watching this vlog. Let me know what you think of the house updates. As I speak, I am planning the decor for the downstairs mostly, like light fixtures and new lamps and new rugs um, and just new furnishings and stuff, new cushions, little bits like that for the house. I'm so excited to take you along the journey. And one thing that I needed to remind myself was that furnishing a house takes time. And I think I try, I'm try. i trying to rush things. I'm trying to get things done. I don't know why. So <laughs> I'm not gonna have like a new exciting project every single week, every single vlog, because it's just not realistic. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any ideas for the rooms. Like I've got big blank wall behind me. Um, I would love to add some artwork, some frames. Um, some wall lights maybe in here I don't know um, but yeah I've been on Pinterest all day long but yeah thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel I'd love to hear what videos you guys like to see from me whether that is more podcasty video podcast episodes because I know a lot of you have been in my dms telling me Jess where's the podcast where's the podcasts um a lot of you wanted me to start my own podcast which I don't know let me know in the comments but yeah i'm gonna stop talking i will love you and leave you and i will see you guys not next week maybe next week i don't know i'm going through the motions i will see you guys very very soon Bye bye